It's finally been done. Finally been done. 99,999. The max that you can get of the Kiss of Spring to exchange for. The Kiss of Spring, which is the flowers. Finally exchange for 500. Give me those. Boom. All right. 50,000 right there. Thank you. Now, we already got 10 from Hase no Miku from doing the specs event or grinding that. But we also got like seven more from this grinding the event too. So we'll have to exchange maybe like four more, something like that from the event. So we got to put all these babies in here. The fact that I can only put five really upsets me. Like, why can't you make it like if you, when you go to like enhance the unit, why you can't you make it like this and we just add all that in there. <laughs> like just at once, we could just put all the luck gems in there, please. Quality of life update. Please add that grand summoners. But enough of that. We're here to talk about the true equipment ticket that you can redeem for getting the login and everything like that. Now I'm just gonna name off some of the equipments that I think that are really helpful. Now I might name some that would just go with good with uh that unit that their true equip is or some other units that I can go on with them too. The first thing I'm gonna say, because this is one of the best options and slash the safest options and options that will help you out a lot these two equipped right here true xyz zex and true izanagi earth mirror's true equip and dark joy's true equip these two equips right here are one of the two best equips <laughs> true best weapons best what was two of the best true weapons in the game can be used on multiple units if they have that slot they can use it on. Izanagi gives on our gauge by two for three seconds and you get that equipment CT down by level three, which is 15% down. Great equip, it's it's so good, dude. XC Zex, all right, right here. It's life still level three. Okay, you get that 3% of HP damage to enemy when near death. Oh my gosh, so great. And if HP is over 75%, it increases the R gauge by 30 and increases our damage by 50% for eight seconds. And that's it's just for people that's not Dark Zord. You forget about the abilities, especially with the Earth Mirror, those abilities too, just for that unit. Two crazy equips right there. I just want to say that. Now, if you're looking at like a little bit of sort of like a nuking way, we have Nemesis Crow right here. Uh, it reduces enemies' dark resistance by 50%, especially if you're running that dark nuke right here baby you can run this okay it has dragon killer level five so you did that 50 percent damage up to dragon so yeah now phoenix true equip right here it heals 30 percent of damage to all allies for 10 seconds and it has dark resistance level four and that gets 20 percent up if it's equipped by fina you get that damage 20 percent up and auto fills are gauge only once so remember that doesn't say what's this by though i just realized that <laughs> The, the amazing description. I said this in a unit of choice ticket video. Uh, if you're getting sandstone, you probably want to get a true equipment too, just because this is you. This is actually versatile too, and you could run this on multiple units. Um, reduce all allies' damage from an enemy by 20% for 12 seconds. The ally HP is under 50%, reduces an extra 10%, and you get physical resistance from damage with that 10% down. Of course, her ability which is right here. So I just want to say some things. You're really not gonna see like other people or other units having like. Phoenix true equip or something like that, you will mainly run that on her. There's certain equips in here that it will be like that, but other equips like Sandstones, Earth Mirrors, Dark Zora's equips that are already mentioned, you can run those on multiple people. So remember that when you're looking at the abilities and everything like that. Now, Griffin, this is actually Norn's true equip, which I still don't have. <laughs> Also used in mines, reduce enemies paralyzed resistance by 60% for 12 seconds. Has a break power. Uh, you get that break power up by 10%. Definitely a lot of people use this in mines, I know, especially um, with certain bosses. Jill's true weapon is pretty good. You get that earth resistance down. You can run that, especially if you're trying to do some earth nuking too. Now, Alavina actually has, we talked about this unit too, <laughs> in the unit choice ticket, if I'm not mistaken. And this unit, or this equipment right here is good for freezing also, because you reduce that enemy freeze resistance by 50%. So you reduce that, hey. And if you already have the ultimate freeze, talk to you, boy. Nice true weapon, increase all allies water damage by 40%. This is so good so good i have knives and i have this real weapon it's it's amazing okay but yeah that's pretty much it i don't think anything on this like list is like necessary like crazy awful we also have platina's true equip which is great for uh breaking great for breaking um if i can find it 
yeah great for breaking nice glow right here you get the 30 percent up break power on her and then damage 30 percent up uh during break <sighs> go bro go if you want to go with the best pick safe pick easy noggy he says x all right, those, those are the top two, one of those, all right? And after that, I would go Griffin or what else, or whatever else you need or anything like that. If you choose a unit from a unit of choice and they have a true equipment over here and they're a pretty decent or pretty good unit, get their true equipment too. So um, other than that, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what equipment are you exchanging for in the comments down below. And yeah, we're gonna be back with another episode of Dying Light 2. We're gonna finish that soon. And Sifu, we're gonna be finishing that soon too. We're gonna finish those before Elden Ring. We got like 14 more days, something like that. So yeah, we're going to be hitting the uploads pretty hard. So be ready for that. Stay sleepy.